Hey everyone, this is Man in the Black Hat, and we're back for more Let's Play Cave Story, all by myself. Why? Because Cave Story's fun, damn it. Now I will warn you, the furthest I've gotten just before I lost interest in this was um, the Weapon X, which isn't coming up for a while. Actually, I think that's at least midway through the game. But at any rate, we've got the gum to get, which is in its usual spot. And I am abusing the hell out of the bubble gun. Why? Because I can. Ooh, that was a close one. Those spikes are very much instant death. Swap over to Polar Star because I can. Die because I want you to. Big fat spinny things. If you noticed a increase in quality, I got better cables for my Wii. And the Halpage is working again, so yay! You can do quality videos again. Mind you, the next seven Skyrim videos have all been proved prior to the Halpage working again, and I don't know if it works with the um, with the Xbox yet, but we'll certainly find out. And if it doesn't, I'll have to get new cords for the Xbox as well, because I ain't putting up with that, damn it. Die, 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 everything die. And that's how we get over without using the jet, without using the jelly juice to get through the fireplace. Because fans are back on. So we got two of the three items. We just need the gum base now. And if you haven't figured out the pattern yet, considering this is a side scroller. Ow. Yes, there's going to be a boss fight. Why is there going to be a boss fight? Because it's a side-scroller platformer. And what am I going to do? My best to get as much stuff as I can. No. Die, everything die. <sighs> ah, the execution chamber. This one's interesting. Don't kill it all the way yet. Kill that one all the way. And come up here for another life capsule. This one will increase our health by five. Nice. Yeah. By the way, it doesn't matter what difficulty level you're on. All of the life capsule spots are the same. So there you go. Can't believe how relaxing it is to actually do these solo for once. So, let me tell you something. If you hold down the jump button while being propelled by a fan, you'll go even higher. Thank you. That's a clue on how to beat this area. By the way. Whee! And whee! It seems to be locked. Gum is written on the door. Okay. It's a gum warehouse. Get those, and those, and damn it. Ugh. No! Ugh. There we go. Into the mysterious house of mysteriousness. Red flowers litter the bed. 
Rare treasure chest for an increase of five missiles. And a micro boss fight. With a raging Mimiga. Kill it and die. You know, I'm starting to not get the doctor's whole plan. I mean, if the worst he can do is sick Mimiga that a recon droid can kick the ass of, he may have jumped the gun on the whole take over the world thing. Die, bats. Oh, you. You die. Ah, uh, stupid fluid controls. Come on. Die, frogs. Thank you. Huh? Oh. Darn it. No bat. I'm ignoring you. Oh. You know what? Screw it. Don't care. Die bat. Thrust it shut. What? Use a bomb? Guess that's a possibility. So you're looking for materials? You say gum base? Wait a sec. Take this. Yay, the gum key. It was hanging on the wall. The world gum was written on it. I'm sure it must be related somehow. Yeah, it's the key to the gum shack. You're actually supposed to get that before you go to that area, but yeah. I get it after. I mean, why not? Want to save? Yes, because this area is slightly dangerous. And also, boss fight upcoming. Do I mean about dangerous? Whee! <laughs> Use the gum key, and we're in. Open the treasure chest, obtain the gum base. Yay! Hey. You again. Do you remember me? That's right, in Mimiga Village. I didn't notice you at the time, but now I remember. Aren't you that soldier from the surface? I don't know how you were able to stay alive. Misery! That's the enemy. He might even be stronger than you, Misery! Is that so? Well, it's a good thing the soldier is your job. Break him for sure this time, then come back. Oh, lovely. It's the ball frog. I kid you not, in the original for the PC, he's actually called the ball frog rather than ball rod. And as you can see, we can't beat him with the polar star. We can, however, shoot him full of missiles. Actually, what you want to use is the fireball for this fight, because it does massive damage and gets rid of those things along the way. As you can see, I just took a third of his health. Pretty much in two shots. Oh! Die, 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 Oh, come on. Quit chasing me. Ow. Uh, da, 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 da. Down to a third of the health. Ow, that was stupid. Die, 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 die. Thank you. Yay! Beat him. In record time, too. Usually that's harder. Defeated the ball frog. I don't care what it says on screen.
So back to Wishlands. We've got all three items we need. We've got the charcoal early. We've got the jelly. You jelly. And we've got the uh, gum base. Literally everything we need. Let's go talk to the robot. Have you gathered the materials? Oh, charcoal, jellyfish juice, and gum base too. I will commence making the bomb immediately. It is complete. Yay, we got the bomb. Now go and blow up the door. Okay. There's only one door we can use this bomb on. For what should be fairly obvious reasons. The bats are actually kind of strong against this because of their flight pattern, but the fireball pretty much owns anything else in this area. Bomb has been set. Boom. Thunk. Alright! You did well, boy. Just one look and I knew. I knew you could do it. Um... My name's Kazuma Sakamoto, but please call me Kazuma. Luckily, I was able to escape from the doctor, but then I was teleported here. It felt like I was about to die out of total starvation. You're a real lifesaver. By the way, have you heard of a place called Mimiga Village? Sue? You know Sue? I see. So you've come to get the, me in place of Sue. I understand. Let's go. Take me to the village. Huh? Is that you, Kazuma? Professor Booster! So you're safe? Yes, somehow. And how is Sue? Is she safe? Sue's in Mimika Village. This boy will get us there. Oh. Do you know him? No. Um, actually, we just met. Anyways, let's hurry and get to Sue's location. The doctor started to gather the Mimiga. It appears he's taken notice of the red flowers. But Sue is a... Will the red flowers work on Sue as well? Just like the others? Kazuma, the doctor has commenced snatching the Mimiga. Do you understand what this means? So the doctor and the war... That's right. And now we're the only ones who can stop him. How are we going to stop the doctor? I have an idea. At any rate, let's hurry and get back to Sue. We'll discuss this when we're there. I want you to come too. Yay! Let the missiles refilled, save the game, because paranoid. I'm counting on you. Lead us to Mimiga Village. Kazma? Yes? Does that thing work? Yeah, looks like it. <laughs> it won't stop! Okay, let's go catch up to him. Just like before, pretty much toast your way back to the same place that you got the charcoal. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. Switch over the bubble. Take care of the bats. Uh, next episode, I believe I get the machine gun. Why do I say next episode? Because I do voiceover work rather than live commentary. That's why. Huh. And over. Yay! Destroying everything in my path the way I should. 
Uh-oh. Gonna run out. Yep, yeah, ran out. And back to killing everything. Ow! Die, you best. Ow! Jerks. Ow! Okay, fireball works. And there's the remains of the scooter. Santa's house. Hmm. Oh well. Let's go back to Arthur's house. We're weapons of death? Yeah. The doctors plan to use the red flowers to have all of you attack the humans. Why would he do such an awful thing? The doctor's like a devil. Will he force Taroko to eat the red flower? The doctor's still searching for the red flower. It's good if he hasn't found the location yet. But if... If he finds the red flower, Taroko will be... She'll be filled with rage and turned into a weapon of death. I won't let that happen. Now! Are you okay? Yes. But I really thought that we were going to get make it out. Kazuma! And Professor Booster! Well, oh. How are you been? Surviving. Yeah, and that Mimi guy is... His name is King. He's a leader of this village, and also a friend of mine. Many Mimiga used to live here in Mimiga Village, but most of them were taken away to the doctor. King's friends were also... Uh, I interrupt anything? Good work. The bike's complete a wreck, but somehow we made it. The doctor's scheming this movie to fled. We need to hurry and do something about it. Welcome back. Seems like I owe you yet another one. With Cosma here, I'm sure we'll be able to handle the password for that egg. Professor Booster, can we bring him along? Professor. Sue. Our escape must be put on hold for now. The doctor has found the location of the red flowers. Huh? As of yet, he doesn't have his hands on them. But it's only a matter of time before he does. Their location is in the sand zone. I've heard that the red flowers are there. Sand zone? So if we go there, we'll find the doctor. <clears throat> I fear that if the doctor's minions will pres presumably go. We must eradicate the red flowers before they get their hands on them. However, sand zone is a very dangerous place. If we were to go... Whether or not we can make it back alive isn't... Are you giving up, then? Actually, no. We just have the right person here with us now. You. What is he? Hmm, well, he's an armed recon robot that was dispatched to this island ten years ago. A robot? I'd heard that they were all destroyed after the war. However, I don't know the exact details. Perhaps one of them... Professor, I've connected us to the Sand Zone teleporter. Hmm. You're the most ideal among us to search this island. Please, help us. Sand Zone, huh? If there's no more red flowers, we can hopefully avoid the war. Well, that's a pretty heavy responsibility, you think? You're the one from ten years ago, aren't you? I didn't realize it until just now. You're indeed well made. And with that, let's get out of here.